So I thought it might be kind of fun to put together a short video taking a look at filming locations from 80s and 90s TV shows. There's something about 80s and 90s TV shows that was so great that you just you just can't recapture. They keep trying to uh, reboot all of these TV shows and I hate to say it, but 99% of the time, terrible. It just doesn't work. And trust me, nobody wants it to work more than me. I would love to see reboots of all of my favorite 80s TV shows, but they make them and it's just missing something. It doesn't have that same, that same vibe, that same atmosphere that the shows did back then. They, they, can't re, they can't recapture the vibe, I guess. So let's go right now and check out some of these locations. We're gonna start with one that I'm really excited about. It's a great show, so let's go check it out. One of the most underrated TV shows in all of the 80s and 90s was a show called Valerie. It starred Valerie Harper. It had Jason Bateman playing her teenage son. This show was great. I loved it back then, going back and watching it as an adult, I love it just as much. There was a lot of controversy surrounding this show. After two seasons, they fired Valerie Harper, even though it was her show, her name, she was the star, they fired her. I'm not, we're not gonna get into the whole reason why because there's you know a lot of controversy as to why exactly, you know, he said, she said, but uh, after two seasons, they fired her. They said that she was killed in a car accident and they brought in Sandy Duncan, who played the aunt of the children. And they changed the name to Valerie's family. And then there was still a bunch of lawsuits going on. So then they eventually changed the name to the Hogan family. This is it. This is the house from Valerie, Valerie's family, the Hogan family. Looks just like it did in the show. Completely untouched. They even still have those awnings over the windows. I can't tell you how happy it makes me when I go to a location and it looks just like it did in the movie or TV show. In the opening credits of season one, we get this cool shot of David Mark and Willie Hogan coming right down this street. Jason Bateman is on a moped and the other two are on bicycles. You can see those three lamps with the globes on top. You can see those behind them. And you can see that brick pillar right there on the corner. And they come right down the street here. They pass right by this house on the way to their house, which is right there. Also right here across the street from the house, you get that shot of Valerie Harper jogging towards us during the opening credits. Also right there on those steps, we see Valerie and her three boys sitting there doing some reading. Just a great show. I love it. And I love that this house has not changed after all these years. If the people that own this house are watching this, please don't ever change it. Keep it exactly like this forever. In the show, they live in Miami, Florida. But in reality, they live in Brentwood, California. This is the home of the Golden Girls. Punky Brewster's apartment building. This is located in the Koreatown area of Los Angeles. And this is probably one of my favorite locations that I've done because it looks 100% just like it did on the TV show. I mean, nothing's changed. It's awesome, I love it. If you wanna learn more about this location and other Punky Brewster locations, go watch my Punky Brewster filming location video on my channel. And less than a mile from Punky Brewster, we end up in New York City, the apartment of Seinfeld. Of course, all the interiors were shot on a soundstage, but that exterior shot of Jerry's apartment is right here in Koreatown in Los Angeles. The exteriors of Monk's Coffee Shop are actually in New York City. Here's some shaky video that I shot while I was in New York on my honeymoon in 2007. I think this is the only location in Seinfeld that actually is in New York. FYI, if you're around Sony Studios, they have a replica of Seinfeld's apartment, and I'm pretty sure you get to visit it on the tour. 
Growing Pains was a great family show that was on the air from 1985 to 1992. The house is on the Warner Brothers back lot and you can see it if you take the Warner Brothers tour and it still looks relatively the same. Here's a picture of me, my wife and my son trying to recreate that opening scene. On a side note, in Gremlins, when the old lady flies out of the window, that's the Growing Pains house. In Arcadia, California at the Los Angeles Arboretum. And this is where they shot Fantasy Island. Fantasy Island was on the air from 1977 to 1984. And right here, this is the famous bell tower where Tattoo would go up there at the start of every episode and yell, the plane. This was Mr. Rourke's cottage. Right here in this shot, we can see Mr. Rourke looking out this window. Tattoo runs up that bell tower, rings the bell to alert Mr. Rourke that the plane has arrived. Everybody comes running out this door here. They make their way right down here and get into the car that would have been parked right here. This fountain behind it. All right, so this is the back side of the Queen Anne Cottage. And right back here is the lagoon. This is where the plane would land to let off the guests for the week. Now, I'm not exactly sure where the dock was. Uh, but I think this is where the dock was, but I'm not 100% sure. But this looks right to me. That curved palm tree in the background behind the bell tower, that can even be seen in the show. In the 80s and 90s, anything was possible, and that includes becoming a doctor at the age of 16. This is where Doogie Hauser's house used to be, but it's been torn down and rebuilt. But if we look at the houses across the street, some of these still look the same and can be seen in episodes of Doogie Hauser. This is Doogie Hauser's hospital. And you can't find this location online anywhere. If you Google it, it doesn't come up. But I actually kind of just knew this one because I grew up in the San Fernando Valley. And every time that I watched Doogie Hauser, I would say, I swear that's Northridge Hospital, and sure enough, it is. So this is uh, Northridge Hospital in Northridge, California, in the San Fernando Valley. Now some parts of the hospital look a little different, because all that right there in the front on the bottom, that would have been um, just the parking lot where we would have seen cars coming in and out and doctors walking around, um, but they built some newer buildings right there. But those taller buildings, those are unmistakably the buildings that we see in the show, especially right there. This is it right here. This is where the 16 year old genius Doogie Hauser went to work every day. Fun fact, Doogie Hauser's girlfriend was named Wanda and he performed surgery on her here at this hospital. And the hospital is at the corner of Roscoe and Etta Wanda. <laughs> All right, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. This location's kind of a bust because the house is completely covered. You can't see it from the street at all. They really don't want anybody seeing the house. Um, I'm gonna try and get a little peek here. It's not actually in Bel Air, but it's really close. Um, try and look over the fence. And yeah, I mean, you really can't see anything. You can kinda see a little bit of the top of the house. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll put in a 
Google Earth view just so you can see something. But I mean, they have completely covered this place with trees and bushes. And I've never seen so many cameras in my life. There's cameras on, there's like two cameras on every tree. Pasadena, California. This is the house from Mama's family. This was a super funny show. I used to love watching reruns of this late at night. The house looks almost as it did on the show. Not much has changed. Not exactly considered an 80s show. However, it did run from 1974 to 1984. So technically, it was a show in the 80s. This is the house from Happy Days. Another cool location that looks just like it did in the show. Right there on the porch, that's where they would have had that porch swing. Other than that, everything else is just how it was. In the opening credits, we get that shot of Richie, Ralph, and Potsy coming down the street, turning into the driveway. You see him go right past this little wall right here and into Richie's house. Burbank, California, the Wonder Years house. This house has not changed at all since the show. And so much of the show took place right out here in front of this house. So many episodes where we saw Kevin and Paul playing basketball right there. Wayne beating up on Kevin right there on the grass. So much has taken place right here in front of this house. Years and years ago, I was lucky enough, I actually got to play basketball here at the Wonder Years house. A friend of mine reached out to the people that own it and uh, asked them if we could come play basketball here and they let us. So that was a really cool experience. Numerous scenes with Jack out front in the driveway with his car, yelling at Kevin to put away the lawnmower. So much awesome TV history happened right here in front of this house. And of course, across the street and down a few houses is the home of Winnie Cooper. Right there in the driveway, that's where Brian Cooper would have been working on his El Camino. And they still have a bench in the same place where Winnie had the bench, where uh, Kevin and her sit down in front of the house and they talk about who Winnie likes. Okay, so it turns out I shot a little bit more footage than I thought I was going to. So I'm going to break this into two videos. So when you're done with this one, go watch part two where we're going to talk about the TGIF videos. Ah, that's right. TGIF, you remember. Pizza Hut, Domino's, Doritos, Pepsi, Coke, Steve Urkel, Friday nights with the ABC TGIF lineup. We're going to go check out the filming locations from those shows in part two. So go check it out right now. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in part two.